Today I'm going to be teaching you how to dominate with Twisted Fate. Now this champion is one of my favorite champions to play because of his versatile ultimate and all of the cool things that you can do with his abilities and his three cards and how to utilize everything to the maximum potential. And I know some people don't like these super in-depth and long guides. However, I really like making them for you guys even though it takes a really long time to make because after you guys are done, I know that you guys are dominating in your games and you guys are climbing really fast after watching these guides and really understanding these champions so today I'm gonna to be giving you guys another really in-depth guide I'm gonna be covering not only his abilities but also his combos his build and situational items that means um, you're gonna be knowing what to build against different team comps and against different champions to really maximize his damage output and I'm also going to be covering his runes and spells as well as tips and tricks for Twisted Fate to really maximize his utility and really get the most that you can out of his kit. And if you guys do enjoy these videos, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as that really does help out the channel and helps this video get recommended to more players. So with that being said, thanks so much and let's get straight into the video. So now I'm going to be going over Twisted Fate's abilities, but before we do that, we need to go into Twisted Fate's passive. Now what his passive does is every time you get a last hit on anything, you're going to be getting extra bonus gold randomized from 2 to 12 gold. Now what this means is that when you are in the laning phase, you're going to have a slight gold advantage over your opponent if you go even in CS with them, which means that even if you're a little bit behind in last hits or last minion kills, you're still going to be um, even in gold because of this passive. And it's also a great passive just to give you that extra gold um, so that you can snowball when getting last hits in lane. And it's also really important that you hit your last hits with Twisted Fate. You can also see the amount of gold that you're getting right above Twisted Fate's head and it's going to be again randomized from 2 to 12 and I'm going to be going over how to maximize this in the tips and tricks section. All right so now I'm going to be covering Twisted Fate's other abilities. Now Twisted Fate's first ability is going to shoot out three cards that deal the exact same amount of damage no matter which cards hit um, and it's a slow moving skill shot that will um, deal AP damage to any enemies that it hits. It also goes through any minions or any champions that are in the way, so it will keep on going through, which makes it a great skill for team fights. However, it is a very slow skill shot, so it's going to be really easy to dodge in the laning phase, but if comboed with his second skill, it can be a very deadly ability, especially when you get that AP scaling later into the game. So. I'm going to be covering how to hit this ability more in the combo section as well as in the tips and tricks section but for now you can use it either when your opponent's going for a last hit um when they are chasing you and you just want to peel with it or if they have already been stunned or slowed with your second skill which i'll be, be covering later into the video i'll also be covering how to hit the skill a bit more also later into the video after that, we have Twisted Fate's second skill, which allows him to pick between three different cards. The first card that you can pick is going to be his blue card, which will restore mana as well as deal the most damage out of all three of his cards. This card's main use is just for taking down turrets, for taking objectives, or just dealing more damage when last hitting. It's also a great ability if you don't want to use your um, the red card or the yellow card, and you're just facing um, a not an enemy champion if you're just facing a jungle camp or something like that you can also use the blue card the second card that you can take is twisted fates red card now what this one will do is actually aoe damage in a certain area so if i put down a couple of enemy dummies here and i use the red card on him it's going to deal damage to all three dummies around it so this is a great ability for wave clear or for team fights where the enemy is grouped up and you want to slow them. This will deal slightly less damage than the blue card. However, it's a great ability for AoE damage and for enemies that are grouped up as well as taking down minion waves. Lastly, we have Twisted Fate's most used card and that's going to be his yellow card. And this one's going to stun an enemy champion. And it's a great ability, especially in the late game 
where a stun can just easily lead into a kill. And if the enemy does not build the quick silver sash, it's going to be a great ability. Also, the stun range is absolutely insane if you have built rapid fire cannon. And I'm going to be going over his build later into the guy, but it's just an absolutely insane ability that also allows him to combo into his first ability after they are stunned. It's going to be your main ability for CC and also for comboing in the laning phase. And it's just a great ability overall. And I would say maybe one of his most iconic abilities. And after that, we do have Twisted Fate's third skill. Now, before the skill is leveled up, if I reset my level right here, then I'm not going to be getting any passive stacks. However, when you level up this ability, you're going to be getting stacks every time you hit an enemy champion, seen by those yellow bars above your head. You're also going to have cards revolving around you when you have your fourth card available. And every fourth card is going to deal extra damage to an enemy champion. You can stack this on any jungle monsters. You can stack this on um, any minions. But once you have your fourth stack, you're going to be dealing a lot more damage and it's going to be really great if you want to combo it with your other abilities and it's really important that you time it. Also, when you're joining team fights, let's say there's a team fight in the river over there, I can just quickly stack my ability on some minions or on the river scuttler if I'm going for a roam or things like that. So it's really important using this ability um, with a passive and it does scale with your AP. This ability will also increase your attack speed once you activate it. So that's the active. So if I activate it, now I'm going to be hitting a lot faster as well as um, having his passive activate every time I hit an enemy champion, which is really useful for that extra bit of gold as well as if you're playing a D Twisted Fate, which I will also cover in the build section later in the video, um, it's going to be a really useful ability. Lastly, we're going to be covering Twisted Fate's ultimate. Now what his ultimate is going to do is first off, it's going to reveal any enemies on the map and just show their location, even if they're hiding in bushes or very, very far away, you're going to be able to see them. The second phase of this ability is basically going to allow you to teleport to anywhere in this blue circle on the minimap. So right now you can see it on the minimap and then you can use this ability to teleport anywhere in that radius and teleport either into a team fight back in lane or to catch someone recalling or anything like that this ability is very very useful also important to note however if you do get cc'd while using this ability if you get knocked up or stunned you this ability will cancel so that your ultimate will not follow through and you'll probably die so you have to be very careful to note what cc your opponent has when you use this ability or just use it safely in a bush or something like that and a lot of people do use this ability wrong, so I will be covering how to use it to its maximum potential later in the tips and tricks section of this video. All right, so now I'm gonna be going over Twisted Fate's combo and the combo that you're going to be learning is going to be very, very useful, especially in the laning phase when you have all three of your abilities up. However, the third ability isn't required for this combo. And it's basically Twisted Fate's most used combo. You're gonna be starting off by grabbing your stun card, so your yellow card. After that, you're gonna be auto attacking the enemy champion and then using your first ability while they're stunned so they can't dodge it and then follow up with auto attacks. Um, ideally, you're going to have your passive up with your third skill and you can also activate it for faster auto attacks. So at full speed, it's going to look like this. You're going to be stunning your opponent using your first skill and then using your passive to have that um, um, faster auto attacks just like that. All right, so the second combo that you need to learn is Twisted Fate's ultimate combo, and it's very similar to the combo that we just learned. It's going to be first using your second skill and your ultimate, and then after, you can actually pick your card while in your ultimate, then teleport where you want to. After that, you're gonna execute the other combo that we just learned to just burst an opponent down. This is great for ganks, or whenever you wanna use your ultimate, even when you're just getting back to lane, or whenever you're using your ultimate to try to catch an enemy champion, you can just have your card ready before your ultimate's actually done and then immediately just stun their face and just kill them easily. 
So this is just a really useful combo after you use your ultimate. It's also important to note that you can just use your, um, you can pick your card yeah, while you're using your ultimate because some people pick their card right after they use their ultimate, which is pretty useful, um, useless because people can just flash it um, and you want to be ready as soon as you teleport. Alright, so now I'm going to be going over Twisted Fate's build. And there's actually two builds that you can go on Twisted Fate. He has an AP build and an AD build. So I'm going to be covering his AP build first because that's the more popular playstyle of Twisted Fate. And then I'm going to go very briefly over his AD build since not a lot of you guys want to be playing ADC Twisted Fate. But for the few of you guys who do, I will include it in this guide. So for Twisted Fate's AP build, the main build is going to be um, just going for Rod of Ages as your first item and a lot of people like going Rod of Ages as their first item Which is completely fine if you want to be a bit more passive However, if you want to be more aggressive and you want to snowball harder You can also rush death cap as your first item, which is a completely viable option as well You're going to be getting a huge AP power spike But it's also important to note that you're not going to be getting as much scaling if you go death cap first so for your second item, if you are going for a hybrid AP AD build, then you can go for Nasher's Tooth. However, if you're just going for the standard AP build, you're going to be going for Lich Bane, which is a bit cheaper than Nasher's Tooth, as well as gives you ability power and ability haste and a tiny bit of move speed. But the main piece of this ability that you really like is that bonus damage that you get equal to 75% of your base AD and 50% of your AP. That is going to be giving you extra damage um, so after you use an ability. So if you're weaving in your auto attacks like you should be between your abilities, you're gonna really maximize this ability and use it to its full potential. So after that, you're gonna be going for a boot item. So for your boot, you wanna be going for lucidity boots for that cooldown reduction so that you can spam your cards as soon as possible. You can also go for defense boots if your enemy has one type of damage or if they have a ton of CC, you can go for mercury treads. But most of the time, I would recommend boots of lucidity into a situational enchant. And if you're playing against the burst damage, you're gonna be going for the stasis, which will be really great against champions like Zed or Fizz who have a ton of burst damage. You can go for the locket enchant if your team needs a shield or if you're facing against heavy CC, you can go for the quick silver enchant. It really depends on what the enemy team comp is and just building the best situational enchant to counter that. If you are into itemization and you really want to understand more about the concept of itemization, I have an itemization guide with the link in the description down below, as well as a card in the top right corner of the screen right now if you want to check that out. So if you want to check out more about my itemization, I have a beginner guide there and you're going to be learning everything that covers the basic of itemization like AD, AP, um, CDR, what do you want to build as a mage or an ADC. So if you guys are confused, you guys can go watch that. But the next item that you're going to be building is Rapid Fire Cannon. And this is a really popular item for Twisted Fate because it will increase his auto attack range, making his stun card um, almost undodgeable in team fights because of the range is going to be so massive. It's also going to be giving you a bit of critical rate as well as attack speed, which is also pretty important on Twisted Fate, especially if you're going for a hybrid build. This will give you um, a longer range auto attack every once in a while. So after that, you're going to be going for two situational items and the situational items that you can go for is Rabadon's death cap. Build this every single game. If you didn't build it as your first item, you should build it now because it's going to give you a huge ability power power spike and just increase your damage a ton. Another situational item that you can go for is Moral Anomicon if the enemy team has a lot of healing and no one else is building anti-heal. If they have someone like Fiora, Dr. Mundo, um, Soraka, Janna, or a healing enchanter support, Moral Anomicon is going to be able to counter that. 
You can also go for Void Staff, which will give you magic penetration. So if the enemy team has a ton of MR, you can go for this item. Go for Leandre's Torment when you want a bit more sustain and also burn damage through team fights. So if you're going for a longer and more drawn out team fights, then you can go for Leandre's Torment as it won't be as good for your burst, but it's going to be good for dealing burn damage over time and those are the situational items that you can go for there's other items like infinity orb and awakened soul stealer but i won't be covering them because i don't like them that much and i think the items that i've listed above are a bit more useful so those are twisted fates items for his ap build if you want to build him ad and you want to play adc twisted fate which i think is a slightly inferior to ap twisted fate but if you want to be building him, then this is how you're going to do it. First, you're going to be going for Blade of the Ruined King, which will be giving you a good passive that synergizes well with his kit. After that, you're going to be building Rapid Fire Cannon for the increased range. After that, you're going to be building a boot item with an enchant. And after that, you can go for Runen's Hurricane, which gives you crit and attack speed. After that, two situational items. I like building Black Cleaver for the armor reduction and phantom dancer just for extra safety but those items can be swapped out and it really depends on the enemy team comp or your personal preferences so for twisted fates runes and spells you're going to be going for electrocute as your first rune and this is for when you have um, three hit combos which twisted fate really likes doing um, using his second skill his first skill and an auto attack just to proc this ability really quickly and then exit the trade um, it's just a great ability that synergizes well with this kit if you're playing ad twisted fate you can go for conqueror for twisted fate second rune you can either go gathering storm for the ap scaling or you can go for weakness if you like getting those cc's in and dealing a little bit of extra damage for twisted fate's third rune i like going second win because it gives you a little bit more regeneration and sustain throughout the lane especially against more pokey champions and for his last rune you can either go sweet tooth if you're up against an assassin or a matchup that you don't like playing um especially if you're up against yeah a matchup that you don't like playing you can take sweet tooth and then give up a few cs as well as has a little bit more sustain during lane however you can also go for hunter genius if you want to snowball a bit more and have that cdr just to spam all your abilities and be a little bit more annoying lastly for twisted fate spells you can go for either flash ignite or flash barrier depending on what enemy champion you're up against the flash barrier is better against burst and a flash ignite is just better when you want to um, take down enemy champions and for the extra bit of damage also up against healing the grievous wounds are going to be useful all right so now i'm going to be going over the most important section of the video and that of course is going to be the tips and tricks section so i have a bunch of tips for tip twisted fate but i'll try to limit it down to my top three tips for this champion and my first tip for you is going to be learning how to roam properly now twisted fate is one of the champions with a global ultimate and of course one of his biggest strengths is going to be the ability to roam around the map extremely fast with his ultimate so how do you use this to the maximum potential how are you supposed to use his ultimate um, just to get the most value out of it as possible and a lot of people tell me that they roamed to their lanes they were able to get their teammate ahead however that teammate just fed and the game was over before they knew it and even though they had a good kda and um even though that teammate that they roamed to had a good kda the rest of their team fed and they lost so the problem with this is that you're probably roaming to a lane with less carry potential. Now what that means is if you have someone like a Trindamir top, but in your bot lane you have a Jinx Lulu, then roaming to the Trindamir is probably going to be weaker than roaming towards the Jinx Lulu. Now when you roam towards a lane, you need to really decide at the start of the game which lane, if I get ahead, is really going to carry the game. If you get a Trindamir ahead, chances are it's going to be harder for them to carry a game than if you got your bot lane of Jinx Lulu ahead. Um, Jinx Lulu is just a really great um, duo to get ahead and to just snowball the game and carry in the late game. So you really need to keep these types of things in mind when you roam. There's also other things that you should be doing when you roam, like clearing the wave, um, clearing vision, uh, doing fake roams to trick your opponent, and things like that. 
I do have a full guide on roaming that I will leave in the top right corner right now and a link in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. It's a super important guide when you're playing Twisted Fate. Usually, I don't fully recommend it whenever I'm playing any mid laner, but for Twisted Fate, you need to watch that guide, guys, if you really want to get the maximum um, value out of his ultimate. So the second thing that you need to know with Twisted Fate is that you outscale a lot of mid laners. You outscale champions like Fizz and other assassins, um, you outscale a lot of the mid lane mages, um, even Annie and those types of champions. You will heavily outscale those champions, especially if you are going for a hybrid build. So, what you can do in the laning phase is you can actually give up minions just to go even. If you go even in lane against those types of champions, then you're going to be actually winning because in the late game, they're going to become more and more useless, whereas you scale more and more better, especially if you're building items like Rod of Ages or items that will scale better later into the game. And so going even in lane is completely fine. Even going a little bit behind in lane is also fine because you have your passive to get that extra gold. And as long as you're soaking up the XP from the minions, it's actually just completely fine. Um, if you have your stun card down and you're playing against a champion that has good all-in potential, someone like a Yasuo or someone like that, and you don't have your stun card, then it's basically okay to back off and give up a few minions just because, again, you're going to scale better than them and later into the game, you're going to be able, um, if you stay even with them, just have a ton more utility with your stun card later into the game. So that's my second tip for you. There's no need to get super ahead during the laning phase. During the mid and late game, you can um, time your roams properly. You can play well in team fights and that is when you can really come online and really destroy the enemy team with Twisted Fate. Obviously, if your enemy is handing you free kills, then obviously it's a good thing to take those. But if your enemy isn't inting, then if you just go even in lane or even a little bit behind, you'll be completely fine. So for my third tip for you is going to be just using your gold card both in lane and in team fights just to command a ton of respect. When you're holding your gold card, um, enemy champions will just give you a ton of space and you can actually use that to your advantage to either zone enemies or just have them miss minions or miss CS while you have that up. A lot of people actually overvalue how much the stun card can do, especially in early game when it doesn't stun you for too long. Um, you're going to just command a ton of respect with that card. And if they don't, then you can just quickly punish them by using a combo on them. So those are my top three tips for Twisted Fate. If you guys have any tips for the other players, please leave it in the comments down below. Also, if you want to see me do a different guide on another champion, you can also leave that in the um, comments down below. Uh, you can also leave other ideas or macro guides that you guys want to see in the future. But thanks so much for watching this far. Um, don't forget to watch that roaming guide. But with that being said, thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.